guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Sun. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. As you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a mini kind of collective haul. I've been dabbling a little bit at Madewell, so I have a couple items from there. I bought new furniture from West Elm, which is super exciting. I love buying home stuff, you guys. If you're not new to my channel, that shouldn't be new news to you. I love home decor. I love buying new furniture. It's just like my jam. So I have a couple of exciting things that I want to show you. And then I also, exciting, this handbag brand called Open actually found me on social media and they decided to gift me a couple of handbags, which is so, so amazing. I'm so grateful. This video is not sponsored by the way. They didn't even ask me to post anything. I just wanted to show it to you guys because I know how much you guys love handbags as much as I do. Let's go ahead and get into the Madewell items first because I have the most things from Madewell to show you. And I'll start off with a non handbag item. And I actually got a pair of Mary Janes. Are these called Mary Janes? Is that the style or are they just ballet? slippers with a strap. I'm not sure because I found it in their ballet section, but then I've seen the term Mary Jane go around. I'm just not very sure, but it's this style of shoe. And this is very, how do I say this? Reminiscent of the past for me, because I feel like these were so popular <laughs> when I was a kid in the 2000s and it's coming back around like most fashion trends tend to do. But I never thought that I would be purchasing a pair of Mary Janes or ballet flats again. They're not the most like comfortable thing, at least not what I remember them to be. And when I saw these on their website, I was like, oh, I kind of really want to buy them for a video and uh, style them because I know that they're super in right now. And I do think that these are very versatile to have in your wardrobe because it can really dress up the outfit. They're work appropriate. You can also dress them down with some more casual clothing. So I think these are really good to have as part of my capsule wardrobe collection so it's super cute I got them in my true size I can kind of go between a five and a half which can tend to be tight in certain brands and then I can go for a six which sometimes can be a little too big in certain brands but I got a six and they fit me perfectly so I would just pick your normal size I got the black color they have several other colors on their website but the black one spoke to me the most because you guys know I'm a neutrals gal I do really like how these are more of a square toe shape. This strap is a game changer. I don't know why I never looked for shoes that have this strap for a ballet slipper type of shoe. I remember when I was younger and wore ballet flats, they would always come off of my feet <laughs> because it would just constantly come off the heels. I just suffered through it, but with this strap, it's so good. Oh my gosh, it stays on your feet and you don't have to get them super, super tight where it's gonna give you blisters. So I'm, I'm digging it so far. I haven't worn these out yet, so I can't tell you if they're comfortable, but I have worn them around the house and they have been super comfy. And the leather, Madewell's leather is very soft. So I don't have any concerns with breaking these in. I think they'll be just fine. Super excited to wear these in the spring and summer because I, yeah, these are really, really cute. The second thing I wanna show you is a handbag that I'm actually unfortunately going to return because it's still in the packaging and everything. I just don't really like the size, to be frank. I thought it was going to be a little bit smaller. Maybe that's just kind of user error. I should have looked at the dimensions a little bit better. I do really love this style. I just wish that it was like maybe two inches smaller. The capacity is really amazing, but I don't need a sling bag that is this big. I know this type of silhouette has been super popular lately. It's like their sling bag style. They have an adjustable strap, which is really nice. I will say the one thing that I didn't like about this, aside from the size, is that the belt loop to keep the strap in place is a little slidey. So you might constantly try to adjust that, which isn't too big of a deal because it does stay. I really love how it has a little hidden zipper on the side. Look how innovative this is. You can open it and put your phone in there or I don't know, like your wallet or something that you want easy access to. It's so cool. I love it. Now I'm getting second thoughts. Should I keep this? 
Tell me in the comments. It's really amazing in terms of capacity. Like I'm gonna take the stuffing out. This is my phone, iPhone Pro Max 15, the latest phone. And it's easily, I mean, there's so much room in here. It's amazing. I think this would be a very practical bag if you do carry more than the, than the essentials. It's super comfortable because it is a sling bag. Let me put it on so you guys can see what it looks like on me against my body because I know that's pretty helpful. I have it shortened to, oh my gosh, you can make this really short. One, two, three, fourth. I have it on the fourth shortest hole. This is my ideal spot where I want the bag to land and it looks great and it feels really nice. The leather is super soft. It does have a little bit of texture, so you don't have to worry too much about it getting scratched or anything. This is the base, that hidden zipper pocket here, the adjustable strap. It's really good and you can really hike this up so that it looks like a true sling bag right against your, I don't know, like below your boob against your rib cage. It's just, I thought it was going to be smaller. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is gonna go back because I don't need, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I am curious about your opinion of this. I did get another bag because this, this one is like more of a vacation bag. I wanted to get this for my Punta Cana trip that's coming up later this year. I'm going, I think, at the end of July. I wanted to buy another straw type Raton type of bag like a basket bag and this one caught my eye on their website because they styled their models and their outfits with this bag And I just fell in love with it. It's so stinking cute. Look. Oh my gosh So I will be keeping this one. It has black trimming. It's a magnetic closure Which is super convenient. I do like the fact that it does kind of close a little bit at least it's very spacious. I feel like I could fit a lot in here. Obviously my phone fits in here, no problem. Let me show you with it in. You can fit a ton of other stuff in here. It's a very simple bag. There aren't any pockets inside or anything like that. It does have an adjustable pocket. I love the fact that it has top handles because this is, I feel like how I'm gonna be wearing it most of the time. I might even take the strap off because this strap, unfortunately, is way too long on me and it doesn't fall on my body at the place that I need it to be, which is against my hip. You know, I could switch it out because it does, it is removable, but I have it on the shortest setting here and it just still lays a little too low on me. I'm not like super mad about that because those handles kind of like go up higher too and it doesn't look awkward or anything, but this is what it looks like on at the shortest length. I wish it was like like an inch or two higher, you know? But it's okay, I think I'm going to be wearing it mostly as a top handle handbag anyway. So, oh, look how cute this is. I love it. And you could probably, no, you can't do it as a shoulder bag. It's too narrow, the opening, but you can do the nook of the arm. You can go like this, you know? It's cute. I'm excited to wear this on vacation at the beach or anything like that because I do think that I have a couple of beach trips coming up this year, which I'm super excited about because I never see the beach enough. And this is super soft. Nothing is prickly. It's very smooth. I'm not going to be too bothered if it gets damaged or anything because this was so affordable. I got it on their insider sale for 25% off and I think I paid like $70, which I personally feel like is a really great deal for a straw-ish type of bag. I actually don't know what the material actually is, but you know, for this type of looking bag, 70 bucks is not bad at all. I always want the Lueve basket bag, but I can never pull the trigger on that. So this is going to hold me off until I feel ready to splurge on something like that. That is everything from Madewell. Let's go through I'll do the handbags from Open. I am so appreciative when brands send me things to try out without any posting obligations because first off, that is such a kind gesture. I get to discover new brands, which I love and I love sharing them with you guys. And truthfully, I was a little hesitant because I feel like more affordable handbag brands, they can have leather quality that's not as superb as some other 
brands, you know, but I was so pleasantly surprised and very, very impressed with the, how the leather feels. It's so soft and supple, but still substantial. So I needed to show you guys these. And the style, I'm, I love it. It's so cute. I don't have anything like this. And they sent me two, which I was like, oh my gosh, in different colors of the same style. I honestly thought that they were gonna choose one or the other, but they sent me both and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so eternally grateful. This is the dust bag and the dust bag itself is actually really good quality too. And it's huge. So you would be able to use this for travel and protect your belongings and stuff, but it's so soft. All right, you guys ready for this? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, hold on, sorry. <laughs> Look at it, oh my gosh, this color is in snow. It feels so nice and smooth. I do believe this is smooth le leather, but it does have a little bit of texture. So I'm not super worried about scratching this or anything, but look at how beautiful this braided strap is. Oh my gosh. It is a strictly a shoulder bag or you can hold it in your hands, but this charm is so cute. It has their, you know, their brand open on it. I'm not sure if you can see that. So cute. I can't tell if that's like a little bean or a little heart. It's in gold hardware, which is my favorite, obviously. I love this asymmetrical kind of cut. The inside lining is canvas, like a cotton canvas, and it feels super nice and well-made. I can fit my phone in here perfectly, and I can definitely fit other things in here. I think it's deceivingly large. Yeah, so cute. Oh my gosh, let me show you what it looks like on my shoulder or on the nook of my arm. This is what it looks like. And I can put it like this. So the taller part is towards the back. I think that's what it's supposed to look like. And this one, oh, okay, but this color is just beautiful, it is called Earth. And it has that same charm, same gold hardware. Zipper is also smooth. That's what the inside looks like. So these were the bags from Open that were gifted to me and I'm just so excited to wear this. I think I might bring one of them to Vegas with me for my birthday because this would be perfect for going out. Amazing. Now let's go ahead and talk about furniture because I did get a couple of new things for my home. One of the new furniture items that I got from Westham is a bookshelf. Just look at how lovely this bookshelf makes my living room. I actually put it to the left side of my TV and I just feel like it completes the space. I am able to store all of my board games on there because we play a lot of board games. Oh my gosh, that's like our favorite activity with friends when we host. So I love that we can store it in a very aesthetic way. It just like looks so homey and warm and uh, it's beautiful. The quality is also really nice and the price point wasn't super bad for West Elm, you know? It has enough shelves where I can actually store things on them and I love the black hardware with the soft light wood. It's the best combination in my opinion and I have a lot of pieces in my home that have that combo already so it meshes really well and looks super cohesive. Highly, highly recommend and the installation was super easy. I mean, I did it with my husband Charlie but it was it took us maybe like 10 minutes. It was super quick. Also from West Elm, we got four chairs, but only three of them came so far, which is weird. I think one of them is in a different shipment and it's gotten kind of like rerouted or something, but it's coming to us eventually. But we got these beautiful black wooden chairs for our breakfast table in the kitchen. And I think these chairs look so much better than what we had before. The chairs that we had before were from our old apartment and it's been with us for several years. And we got those from way Fair. They're fine, you know, they served their purpose and it was great while they lasted, but the cushioning kind of got worn out. It's a very lightweight chair, so it's flimsy, not the best quality. It's not real wood or anything. So we upgraded to these wooden black chairs and they look so lovely. I love how my space is turning out. Next up is going to be replacing my bar stools, but that's for another story. But I love these chairs so, so much. It goes really well with the rest of the decor in my house. They came in pristine condition. They came in these like giant boxes and no assembly is needed, obviously, because it's like a whole piece 
that comes to you. I did grab some new lamps as well for the living space, but we haven't unpacked that or unpackaged it so it's not set up or anything but once those are placed in you know in my home i'll go ahead and show you guys in a different haul but i did get those as well from west elm because i love the globe thing but i'll give you guys a screenshot here so you guys know what i'm talking about i did get these but it hasn't been installed yet so once it does, I will show it to you guys, whether in a vlog or in a new video. And that is everything. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you want to stick around. And I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.